Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the 0x80072F8F error you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. This is a we can't activate Windows on this device at the moment. You can try activating again later or go to the store to buy genuine Windows. Error code 0x80072F8F. Again, this is assuming you have a legitimate copy of Windows and you're looking to use Windows built-in troubleshooting utilities. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, make sure your date and time settings are correct. If they are not correct down in your system tray, right-click on it and select Adjust Date and Time. If you have to change the time settings, go ahead and do so on this page. If you have to set the time automatically, go ahead and set it. Otherwise, you can set it manually and then change the time to the appropriate date and time settings. So pretty straightforward on that, guys. Also, make sure you have a current and working internet connection. That's certainly a potential problem you're having as well. And it can verify your license or the updates, perhaps, because you don't have internet. Uh, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in WS Reset. Best match, or come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and open that up. And give it a moment here. And then hopefully that should have resolved the problem as well. So one further thing we can do as well on top of that would be opening up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match. Come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select other troubleshooters on the right. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update Troubleshooter. And then hopefully, you know, if you follow along with these steps, if you did have an actual problem here, it would be able to resolve it as well. At least it should be able to restart some services by running this troubleshooter that are pertinent or necessary for the updater to run. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.